Hi you guys, it's Tanya Gibbs and welcome to my channel. Today I want to share with you some mixed media iCADs. Uh, this is a tutorial and uh, these are uh, just for inspiration to jumpstart your brain. Uh, my, the idea for these iCADs is to use up products in your stash. Uh, also, uh, I'm going to feature these stamps from Yvonne Blair. As usual, I will link up a blog post down below that has detailed photos of these amazing stamps and also where you can purchase them. I'm also encouraging you to check with your local retailers that sell stamps. So I have been in a bit of a block lately. So what I want to do with this challenge is to give you guys some props so that if you are in the same situation, you can kind of um, follow along and possibly um, boost your own creativity. So with this project, the first prompt that I want to give to you is to uh, go into your stash and use scrap paper as your base for your index cards. Now you can do one or you can do like I'm doing and de-stash completely, but your number one challenge is to use scraps. Your second prompt would be to use mono prints. So as you can see here, I have cut some mono prints down to index card size, which is three by five. And I am going to use those, two of those for my base. And then the scraps from where I cut them down are going to be used later on for some of my embellishments. Um, the third prompt is going to be to use book text. So as you can see, I've covered some base um, index cards with a gel medium and I have um, covered it with some book text that have been mono printed on or they were scraps that were left on my desk and I used them for blotting uh, leftover paint. So your next prompt is going to be use gesso. So um, yeah, uh, so I've used the gesso to kind of knock back some of that text a little bit and to uh, sort of tone down those. Um, I'm also using the side of a key card to create horizontal lines and vertical lines on this. Uh, and it just sort of uh, gives me a really nice, interesting texture. Now for your convenience in the blog post, I will list all of these prompts, so please make sure you're going to check that blog post out. It'll be linked up in the description box down below. I'm also using a baby wipe to kind of smooth all of this around a little bit. If you feel like you've gotten too much of that color covered up, um, feel free to use that baby wipe. So my next prompt is going to be to use tissue or washi tape. Uh, I'm going to use several different colors and uh, patterns uh, to do this, but uh, I think that adds a uh, texture, but it also adds color and vibrancy to your uh, layouts. Let's face it, we have wads and wads of this stuff in our stash, and if you're like me, you hoard it and forget about it, and it's time to use it up. So I'm going with a bold black color, but then I'm also going to offset it with something that is almost like it's negative. It's going to have um, a, a clear with black text. So, um, and, and, and these are going relatively quick, because what I do to one, I'm doing to all four at one time. So, and then I'm pulling out the color palettes. Uh, I'm sticking to the same color palettes. I'm going back with a turquoise that has the white dots. Uh, and also, um, don't be afraid to rip that washi tape. Don't, it doesn't have to stay um, you know, the same width. I'm just ripping it in half, and that adds some really fun texture, too. Uh, your next prompt is going to be to use something gold. Uh, I, it doesn't matter if it's completely shiny or if it's, if it's a medium of some kind. I'm going to use several different mediums that are gold here. Uh, some of my washi tape is turquoise and gold, but um, use something gold. Now, you're going to notice that I am pulling from items that have been on my desk for a long time. If you go back and watch the last four videos, 
um, four or five videos or even videos that I've done in the last year, most of the products that you're seeing me use are things that have been used um, on my desk. So this is an amazing opportunity for me to de-stash the things that are sitting on my desk, the things that are in what I often refer to as my one hit wonder box. Um, this is declutter my world. Uh, this is an opportunity for me to uh, just cleanse, you know, it, it's cleansing my brain, it's cleansing my desk, it's cleansing my work surface, um, and it's taking all of these things out of my area here and giving me the opportunity to um, just, uh, you know, come into my room with some fresh ideas and start over with the next project. So that I use this opportunity to just sort of declutter. So this is a wooden frame and my next uh, prompt to you is going to be, um, let's go organic. So incorporate something organic. I'm using a little bit of Lindy Stamp Gang here, and this is the uh, Steampunk uh, Sepia in the brown, and it's from the Industrial Chic uh, Lemore Weber Designs uh, palette. And then this is the Flat Fabio Tilt to Wheel Teal. Again, it's also another uh, Lemore Weber Designs color. Uh, and I'm just making this wooden frame look like it's been patinaed and aged, uh, like it's been sitting in a garden for a while and really aging up. And I think I really like the back side of this where the color has seeped in and then I rub it all over the side of this card and I'm really loving the effect this card is getting. And as I'm doing this, I noticed that this orange that was on the back side of this card where when I laid the frame down, you see I pointed to that orange area, looks like the bulb of a flower and then the black looks like the leaf. So I'm not sure where I want to place this frame at this point. Do I want the um, dragonfly to, to be off to the left or do I want it to frame out that um, that that bulby you know flower at that point so the dragonflies obviously you guys saw that a couple of projects back uh, they were on my desk I told you guys I want, wanted to use them and I never have they've just been sitting there in that bucket so now I'm going to use them up and they're perfect for these cards. So um, I decided this is the very end of this gold twine. You've seen me use it in a bunch of projects here. So I'm going to tie it around there to just kind of soften up that frame. And um, my next prompt is going to be to stamp, an, stamp something on vellum and use that on your cards. So my prompt number eight is going to be an embellish with vellum so maybe I'll just call it vellum because I really love the way this vellum looks on these cards um, you know uh, I if you'll go back to that video um, it was the one where we made the cards with the dragonflies on it uh, it was really neat how they turned out so then the flower came from another video where we made a wooden ornament and it's been sitting on my desk for a while so I just broke it apart so I could use that flower on all of these cards again all of these are going to look identical because we're we're you know we're we're duplicating the same effect on every one of these so um, they're going to come together pretty relatively easily uh, so this is the next one um, I'm putting all of that aside and let it dry and I'm spritzing that sepia color onto this card now it's going to resist that quite a bit because there's a lot of matte medium on this and the, of course there's gesso and all of this so it's only going to seep into the area where the color where the you know matte medium is is not covering up uh, but I love how it gets you that tonal effect and then of course there's that um, i I drew those lines with that, um, what is that? That's the uh, Tybish and Poppy Teal from Lindy Stamp Gang. So now our ninth prompt is going to be do some uh, stamping. So that is going to be uh, 
the ninth prompt and I did that with uh, Yvonne's uh, stamp her, this is her, from her new release and this is the leaf stamp I'm really loving that stamp I'm going to use that a lot and of course here I come back with the gold so that that goes back to our um, our number six prompt and I'm painting that gold into those leaves where it was neg the negative so it's really pulling out the gold from that tape that I used so um, I'm loving where this is going and I'm taking that uh, little bit of uh, moss there and I'm gonna lay that and start building out my layers for this one and you can it diffuses those uh, that busy background just a little bit and really gives me an opportunity to start building layers out so instead of using some uh, dimensional tape I'm going to use a uh, cardstock that's just chipboard um, this is just scraps from where I make mini albums and I had some scraps laying around just taking all of those uh, little scrap pieces from before and I'm just placing those down onto that and um, using that for my dimensional adhesive so once that's good and dry I'm going to cut those pieces apart Then I'm going to take my archival ink and then ink up the edges of each of those pieces so that they really stand out on that uh, busy background there. It's just going to help to give them a, a really good dark and defining edge. So I'm going to take my matte medium and I'm going to glue these down so that one is going up and then the rest are going horizontal and it's just going to lead your eye across the index card and since they're really there's a it's really busy I mean it really is but because it they have the dark edges they really pop and then once I glue the uh, dragonfly down uh, and and I'm covering him with matte medium all the way around he's really gonna pop up off this busy background and I'm gonna splatter the entire thing with gold around the back um, and it's really gonna help to uh, make him pop now I'm gonna put that aside and let it dry I've come back to my index card there and I don't know if uh, I showed it but I went ahead and colored my um, background there with a little bit of that Dino Wakely turquoise paint I put it aside to let it dry and then I came back and stamped my sentiment with it says with grace she flies uh, with Versa ink and now I'm heat setting it with embossing powder and that brings me to my next prompt which is our tenth prompt and that's going to be do some embossing now I'm not I don't care what color you use but just do some embossing and then this is going to bring me to our 11th prompt doodling I think doodling is really important um, whenever you want to get um, creative uh, so what I've done is I pointed out that orange flower and what I'm doing is I'm taking Yvonne's uh, leaf stamp and I am taking that little black that was there and I'm using it as if it were a leaf and I'm stamping that leaf there and incorporating it into the design this is a uniball impact 207 pen I use it all the time and I've just taken the negative area that did not stamp very well um, and it's not going to stamp very well because there's so many different layers of texture here and I'm just doodling in those areas like a leaf shape uh, and then I'm taking the edge of that uh, ink pad there and then just darkening up the edges and then I'm going to spritz a little bit of a um, ink down inside of that frame now what you don't see in camera is that the index card itself before I started had some gold uh, stitching on it and right in the center where that frame is you can't see it really in camera but hopefully it shows up in the photographs but um, I didn't want to cover up that stitching I really liked it so there's some gold thread stitching in there um, and then um, I really wanted that to shine now we're going to move on to the other um, index card and going back to the vellum uh, prompt again I wanted to use the vellum to stamp this image now so I'm going to heat emboss onto that sentiment and it says um, 
the right perspective makes the impossible possible. So um, off camera, I went ahead and used my white gel pen to doodle inside of my dragonfly. So it, I don't think I've done it yet, but I don't think it shows up until you see the photos at the very end. Um, and then I wanted to pop it up and make the sentiment really pop onto um, up against that busy background. So I just uh, gel mediumed it down to a piece of the y, of the book text there at the top and then mounted it onto a piece of chipboard and it really pops very well but I cut off the word possible so that I could put it at the bottom so it would fit here on this busy background and I'm really loving the way this looks now so I'm going to take my Stabilo pencil and just kind of add some more darker shadows around some of these areas now you can see where I've doodled on to that dragonfly's wings really and he really pops off of the back the busy background now and um, I'm just taking a, a brush, a paintbrush there, and adding a little water to it. Now this is a grimy paintbrush. <laughs> it has been through it. But um, just watering up those bristles and just smearing around that Stabilo pencil. Um, this is a Stabilo Marksall pencil. And um, if you don't own one of these, it's a must-have in mixed media. So I'm going to add that to your list of 12. Um, st uh, use your Stabilo pencil. If you don't have a Stabilo pencil, then I'm going to say a charcoal pencil. You could substitute it out for charcoal or a black watercolor pencil would work too. So any kind of watercolor medium would work. And I believe this particular card is done. We're going to put it to the side. It's completely finished. Um, and I'm not going to come back to it. I just do a little bit of doodling around on it to call it finished. But it's pretty much um, finished. I think I go back and I add a little flower there just finishing up with those little orange just to pull the orange back up to the words the top so that it kind of grounds the dragonfly a little bit and I had a little rhinestone sitting in my bucket of one hit wonders and that kind of puts the center into my um, dragonfly there. Now this is going to call this one done I believe. Uh, I just felt like that frame needed a little something there. It felt a little naked to me. Uh, so I did a little bit of doodling there. Uh, stamped one of those leaves shapes and did a little doodling on it. And now we're going to call this particular one finished. So that's one and two are finished um, on that one. And I think I do come back and drip a little bit of gold paint to finish it off along once the matte medium finishes on that. Um, I, I call that one done. But I'm going to put a little bit of the Stabilo here on this to just kind of add a few shadows here and there. And then that's going to call this one done. Uh, but I'm really loving where these index cards are going. And so now what do you do with these index cards once you're finished, you might ask. Um, I think these are just absolutely beautiful and, mo and the majority of them are really flat. I may actually make these into card panels. Um, I, I, after looking at them, they've been on my desk now for a couple of days and I'm thinking I may actually put them on the front of, a, of cards and just turn them into cards. They're absolutely gorgeous. Um, that's my idea that's where I'm headed with them so now we're going to move on to card number three and um, this is going to be super simple and it just says uh, only the wind knows where it will carry our dandelion souls and I just uh, heat embossed that right there on um, this one and uh, this one was actually inspired the sentiment um, of course is um, is Yvonne's but uh, the f sentiment I I decided to use it because I had just gotten the stamp from Yvonne that was um, the three flowers so um, I decided to go ahead and use it on this card because I didn't want to put a whole lot on this because I really love the mono printing that was going on on the background so I wanted to keep it fairly simple um, there's not much to this particular one because the mono printing you know kind of had a feel for flowers and all that all going on already in the background so all I'm going to do is uh, stamp these with the black archival ink and like I said, they're not going to transfer really well because of the fact that there is um, 
uneven painting going on in the background and the tissue tape and all of that. So what I decided to do was pull out my white gel pen and just do some doodling over the top. But you do want to make sure that archival ink is good and dry because it is oil based before you begin your doodling. Uh, so what I did was just heat that set that really well and then just come back and do some doodling and this card I believe we're going to call done after I finish the doodling on it. Um, I do come back and add a black doodled line around the edge of that and splatter some gold paint onto that one and call it done. Now the fourth card I did not share with you in video because something happened to the video but here are all four cards it's pretty much the same. Um, on the fourth card the sentiment says um, it's up to you to see the beauty in the everyday so it pretty much is the same as the last card I shared with you just a stamping under the butterfly or under the dragonfly and then the heat setting but there you go there's all of them don't forget to go check out that blog post and um, for all the details and the prompts uh, I've given you 12 prompts to use to help stimulate your brain and you I hope you've enjoyed this post and you share it with your friends and go check out the blog post uh, for more ideas thanks for watching guys